Hey, you got Fox here with another episode of Pig Iron to Steel Splendor, where we take the Bronze Steelers and turn them into an All Elite Squad. So we're getting pretty close here. Here's the offense, Boss Michael Vick there, as you see, along with some good wide receivers. And C is the sponsor today. You know, it's really my only friend. Uh, the C is the only thing that will wave at me constantly and is okay being seen with me in public. So, uh, tight end. Miller, Spath, Green. Green's there because uh, of his speed, even though he's lower overall. You know, as you know, take a look at the stats underneath. The overall doesn't really matter, as Texas Boyd loves to say. Uh, the off the outside linebackers, solid, solid. You know, there's a couple ultimate legends out there, right outside linebackers. It's too bad the Porter and the Lloyd are both uh, right outside linebackers instead of splitting them apart. Secondary could use some work here. Burns has held up pretty decently. He's been okay, nothing amazing. Uh, he has hot and cold streaks, you know, just like any corner. Uh, we're 6-1 and one in pro uh, first. So let's get into the game here as a kickoff against PLA. Uh, playing as the Colts, me as the Steelers. It would be weird if I wasn't playing as the Steelers. Using the Steelers offensive playbook, using the Steelers defensive playbook, using the Browns Mike Tomlin as the coach. You know, just an all-around team team. Steelers taking them to all men first. Here we go. Blount up the middle. Rolling. A little bit short there, third and one, so let's just run the fullback dive and take care of it. D'Angelo Williams falls forward, not a prototypical fullback, but we'll take it. There we just, we miss our reads and throw into double coverage. That's just not a good call. And this game, I, I'm kind of off this whole game here. He was using his D-line, so I thought I had a steady game. You know, I thought I could just make my automatic reads there after seeing him use the D-line last time. And nope, nice little corner route pick by him. Nice user pick by him with Steven Anthony, it looked like. Um... But anyways, he has a ball back now on uh, threatening my... Well, he's on my side, but he's threatening deep. And can we get it? Mike Mitchell with the aggressive catch animation. Nice work, dude. On the 20-yard line. Thank you very much. Also getting that um, touchback there. Blunt up the seam as he was calling to protect it there. He went back to protect that corner route. You know, that quick out. And Antonio Brown gets hit as he's taking the ball down to the ground. So he is protecting those corners very harshly. And um, that's unfortunate because that's my offense. And now, once again, we throw in double coverage. And we, once again, my, Mike cannot come down with it. Mr. Wallace uh, cannot take it. Mr. Hines Ward bobbles the ball in traffic, and he picks the ball off. So, not off to a great start offensively. Um, actually, I have a pretty offensive offensive game today, as it is. He runs screen as I protect the other side of the field, but Stephen Tewitt is able to recognize it and screen it out as a bad play. But anyways, first and ten, second and eight. Now he runs the ball back to the inside zone. Oh, Mike Mitchell making plays. Holy crap. Nice hit stick. Wow. First the pick, then the hit stick. Mike Mitchell, I may have underrated you as my free safety back there. Uh, just studly work today. You're holding us in the game. If it weren't for you, man, we would uh, be very in a very bad spot. It's still 0-0, though. So we still got some chance here. Off uh, Offensively, Le'Veon Bell juking side to side, having a good time. Inside zone, of course, you know, the most powerful run in Madden. For those, I mean... Beginners, obviously, uh, the toss is better against them, uh, but inside zone against top end competition is probably the best running run game run play in the game, as you all know. I'm not teaching you anything uh, very new there. Dre Archer off the edge with his speed, going between the tackles, wandering back and forth, waving, just doing what he wants. Is getting some block sheds there against my guard and uh, stopping that run a little short. So we do do the toss, and my guys just miss their blocks. That's just disheartening to say the least. So we don't really have anywhere to go. We can't um, decide what to do with the ball. So he hits me, and I fumble on a straight sack. So I run a little bit of uh, Jones there on a little bit of gap blitz. He runs the ball against me and picks up a pretty good amount of yards there. Mr. Ryan Mundy had to stick there to take him down. All right. Once again, we can able to get through there. Uh, that might have been a looping one. Uh, Blunt not falling forward, which is strange for Blunt Force Trauma because he usually does. So we start the second half. That's why I got the ball back right there. Um, in case you were wondering, Lloyd is too slow to catch up to his running back, which makes a lot of sense. Mike Mitchell there has to chase him down for our defense. Marshall Falk, he's got there on offense, just doing some dirty work against me. There is our outside linebackers collapsing on Reggie Bush. A little bit of drags underneath, and he is able to exploit my underneath coverage uh, because I was not covering the entire underneath field, not getting any pressure on him. Uh, so there we go. Oh, Shamarco Thomas. So close. Sharknado, so close to that pick. Why can't we all be 
Bryce McCain. Br no, I can't maybe I'll be Mike Mitchell. Bryce McCain missed that tackle there. None for the still down seven nothing. Not great. Third quarter having a terrible game offensively. Those are just these are just one of those games. Sometimes people have them. You know, you just can't get anything going. So there, I know he's going to bait the corner, so I go to the flat route. Pick up the first down, first and ten. Michael Vick, use your leg, get outside. Uh, we have we have a uh, guy deep down there, but uh, luckily, once again, it's not picked. Mike Wallace is not letting him get picked, which is lucky. You know, I'm throwing a lot of double coverage to him because he's my fastest guy, and I just like chucking it to him. Uh, but luckily, he's not coming down with him, but he's not letting him get picked. So that's, it could be worse right now. I try to hold the ball for a couple seconds in the pocket, and I'm just getting show-whammed. I should have gone to the flat there. I threw it right as I was getting hit. Once again, I was just hesitating too much. Third quarter, we're going to try to get some stuff stuff here, uh, you know, Thanksgiving dinner kind of stuffing with his run game. He's just trying to ball down the clock here. 337, what's he got? A screen again. Screen again. That was a, that was a great screen because the uh, flare out, I chased the running back to the right, and he screened it left. Uh, nice little play there. I think that's the Eagles playbook that he's running with those screens. Inside zone again. Nice way to get off the block. Marshall Falk. Nine rushes, 87 yards. Yeah, that's some damage as the user just misses the tackle in the backfield. So, no, not great offense, defense, nothing going for me today. Uh, although, uh, some guys are making some plays there. Uh, he had a hit stick. Mike Mitchell had to clean it up because we couldn't make a tackle there. And, wow, getting stuck on our blocks. Nothing happening for us at all here in defense. Not having a great day. He's got a good running game against me. We'll, we'll give him that. We get some pressure off the edge through the Shamarco Thomas. Our safeties are having a decent game. Nothing. I mean, nobody on defense really playing amazingly well. We got a couple sacks. There he goes with the swing pass. And we get the tackle. So he is going to take the three points to go up by two scores. So we got to drive down the field. Something we haven't been able to do all day without, inter without giving up interceptions. Uh, we got a lot of plays here. And nothing, again, is open. I don't know. I don't want to take shots deep with this team because I don't really trust it. Uh, so I'm going to do it anyways. Take it to Ward. Ward is able to come down with it because he had a little bit of hole there when his user abandoned his uh, responsibility in the middle of the field. Ward once again on that speed out. 104 left. We've got no timeouts. Back to the corner. Brown drops the ball between two guys sandwiching him. Man, Brown is being ice cream today. Just slippery hands made as a sandwich. I don't know, that probably, that's probably where the comparison ends there. Anyways, we're still driving down. Still got a lot of things to go. Flat routes, Ladarius, can't turn it upfield. A little bit of off throw, tough to get through. Wow, his he did get a guy through there untouched, but we were able to throw a speed route in time. And here's for the game. He recovers it, and the recovery means he can just nail out the ball and end the game. So, we lost. 6-2 and two now in the season. As he runs out of the game, I'm not able to force any fumbles. Nope. No Mike Mitchell hits, unfortunately. So that's it. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.